Nokia has announced its first Wi-Fi 6E device, the Wi-Fi Beacon 10. It supports 10 gigabits per second throughput, mesh networking, and the latest device management standards. And here to explain more is Justin Doucet, who is head of Wi-Fi at Nokia. Hello, Justin. It's very good to see you again. Thanks for joining us on the program. Now, let's talk first of all about Nokia's latest Wi-Fi product. And could you explain to me how exactly the Beacon 10 addresses the current market demands and trends and indeed the requirements of CSPs? Yeah, well, good to see you again as well. Um, it's been a probably about six months since we've seen each other and uh, a lot's been going on. So, yeah, we're announced um, the Beacon 10 this week at Mobile War Congress, and uh, we're super excited about the product. Uh, to answer your question, it addresses market trends in a couple of different ways. So first of all, there's been this transition from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6, uh, and that's kind of in full force right now on a global basis. Uh, Wi-Fi 6E is the latest standard, and this continues that trend to from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6, and in preparation for Wi-Fi 7, which will come in 2024. Um, the other big market trend that's happening is the fiberication of the world, and, and this is really um, taking place in North America in full force. Um, there's multi-gigabit services being brought to the home, and there is a need to showcase those multi-gigabit services in the home, um, since most of all in-home connectivity is done via Wi-Fi. Um, the new Beacon 10 addresses that uh, with, uh, with great performance and great mesh capabilities. Um, and, you know, that consumer who's purchasing a multi-gigabit service really does want to see that multi-gigabit service wirelessly throughout their home. So that's how the Beacon 10 addresses some of these uh, market needs. Thanks, Justin. As you say, a lot has happened in these past six months. So what is it that sets the Beacon 10 apart from other Wi-Fi products that are available on the market? Yeah, well, first of all, it's our first Wi-Fi 6E device. And Wi-Fi 6E is the latest IEEE standard for Wi-Fi. And what that enables is the third major band. So we've had 2.4 gigahertz, we've had five gigahertz for a number of years now. And the Wi-Fi 6E standard actually opens up the six gigahertz band for usage. So um, the analogy that's often used, it's adding another uh, lane to the, to the highway or the freeway. So it's giving you more and more bandwidth to transmit uh, wireless signals throughout your house. So that's sort of the, the big um, feature update that's happening with, with Wi-Fi 6E. And, and, and as mentioned, the Beacon 10 does support that standard. Um, the other thing that we're implementing in this product, it's our first fully USP, and that's user services platform uh, compliant device. And this is a World Broadband Forum standard. Um, here at Nokia, we really focus on bringing industry standards to market. Um, and the USP standard is brand new. What we've done is we've implemented a USB agent it's actually an open source agent that the, the, the open source community contributes to. Uh, and this provides a, a single standard interface for multiple controllers to control the device. So whether it be a remote uh, a cloud-based controller or whether it be a mobile app controller in the home, uh, we've standardized that completely. And this is the, the first device that fully uh, adheres to the, the USP uh, compliant uh, uh, standard. Uh, the other thing that we're doing in parallel is we have a cloud service that's called the Nokia Wi-Fi Cloud Controller. We've actually upgraded that to be a USB, USB controller as well. Uh, and that creates a full end-to-end -end capability where you can manage this device remotely with uh, the Nokia Wi-Fi Cloud Controller. But since it's USB compliant um, and it adheres to those standards, um, any USB controller uh, uh, can control it remotely. Um, and then the final piece, uh, which is super exciting, is our ability to support uh, third-party applications. Um, we've been working on this technology for, for quite some time, and it's really becoming much more mature these days. The Beacon 10 um, has separated out the application from the operating system, and this allows third parties to develop uh, applications on top of the Beacon 10 that is separate from the core capabilities of the product itself. Well, that's supportive ecosystems, really exciting news. Can you give us some more detail on what kind of applications we're talking about here? Yeah, so we're partnering um, with F-Secure, which is a leading provider of cybersecurity and parental control capabilities. So that's one of the partners that we are partnering with. Um, the capability really does allow uh, any third-party application developer to develop an application on top of the device. And uh, similar to what's happened in the past with other, te other technologies like, like PCs and mobile phones, uh, the separation of application and operating system is now happening in the home uh, on the, the CPE, on the, the, the gateway in the home. 
Um, and what we're doing here at Nokia is really trying to drive this, uh, this new standard, this new capability uh, when it comes to connectivity in the home. And we're looking at the application ecosystem in sort of four different areas. So first of all, it's building out the capabilities of the device itself, uh, the embedded software stack to support different types of applications. Um, it's creating a developer toolkit to allow various third parties to develop these applications isolated from the Nokia development team. Um, it's eventually creating a marketplace to make these applications available to more and more people. Um, the, the, the first foray into this marketplace will be a B2B marketplace where we allow our service provider customers to decide which applications they want to distribute to end users, uh, such as the F-Secure uh, application. Um, and then the last piece is just more and more applications. So we're going to be developing our own Nokia applications. Uh, we have different departments throughout Nokia who are excited about this, who want to develop new applications for in-home connectivity. Uh, and then we'll be working with more and more third third party providers as well. That's really good to hear. And Justin, is the Beacon 10 available now? Well, we're launching it this week. We just announced it uh, here at the Mobile World Congress um, and it will be available for shipment in June of this year. So we're in the final rounds of production and testing and yeah, we'll be going to mass production in June. So super excited about that. Excellent. Well, Justin, very good speaking with you again. And thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thanks, Guy. Nice seeing you again. Appreciate it.